Sister. Evidence has been presented to me, written in your hand. It shows that you have conspired with Catholic forces against my life. Whether these letters are in your hand or not, I must act. I wish I could speak these words to you directly. But they exist only in my mind, as both a prayer and a penance. I hope that God will hear them. Believe me when I tell you how it ages me to bear such a burden. Ordering to death the only other woman who knows what it means to rule as a queen in this land. You were right when we spoke a half lifetime ago. You said the day would come, and that day has come. I regret not doing then what I do now, so that I could have spared you so many years of imprisonment and misery. If you would lay eyes upon me now, you would not recognize me. I have relinquished all sense of self to the throne, which rules my every word and action. But when I think of you, I see not an aged woman, but rather the young, resplendent queen whose portrait I first gazed upon five and twenty years ago, and whose beauty shone so brightly when we met, despite her despair. I know God's arms will accept you in that likeness, as the young, fierce queen who I have always loved and admired. May your soul have pity on mine. Your grace. Your grace. By order of our Sovereign Elizabeth, Queen of England, Wales and Ireland, Overlord of Scotland, certified by her Privy Council and Parliament, Mary Stuart is condemned to death. This day, February the 8th, the year of our Lord 1587. thinks herself a martyr. James, my only son, I pray that with your life you will succeed where I could not, and for which I am about to give my life. In my end is my beginning. I shall be watching you from heaven as your crown one day unites two kingdoms. And we shall have peace.